Hi, my name is Tamara and you're watching Things Even a Monkey Should Know. Thanks so much for watching again today. As you know, if you've watched some of my other videos, I'm not a professional with this do-it-yourself stuff. I'm just a girl who's figured out there are a lot of things around my house and out in my yard and on my cars that I can do myself and save myself both time and money usually. So hopefully you have saved those things now too. So today is part four of four of um, redoing the bathroom, not the bathroom floor, the shower floor in my bathroom. And um, today we are going to be sealing the grout and just doing the uh, final caulking and around the edges and just finishing touches to make this shower ready to use. So as always, we're going to go over the things that we're gonna to need today first. Um, since we're sealing, that's the big thing today, uh, you're going to need some kind of a sealer for grout. Um, I got one that is specifically uh, for outdoor use actually, so that means it'll be really good in the shower. And also I asked the opinion of several professionals and this was the one they recommended. So I have this. You'll need a way to apply that. Now, if you have regular um, square or rectangular tiles, then you're gonna have straight lines of grout. So all that you'll need is maybe just a sponge brush to put it in into the uh, grout lines. Or uh, there's also a brush, uh, a brush, a roller that they make that's actually a corner roller, but it's a really skinny roller and that also would work. Um, it just depends on what you wanna use. If you use a brush though, or a sponge brush, you're gonna need some kind of a throwaway container to dump your sealer out into so you can get it up with your brush. I, since I have the kind of floor that I do in there, I am gonna use a little roller and so I have a little container that I'm gonna dump my sealer into to get it up into my roller. You are going to want to have a white towel. If, if your grout is white, that is, white or light colored, you wanna have a white towel to wipe up any spills and wipe up extra sealer after you've let it set for a few minutes. Of course, if you have a dark grout, you're going to want to have a dark towel because you don't want the opposite color lint getting stuck in your sealer and then you have to look at that for the rest of the life of your sealer which could be like 20 years. Um, since this is not the most uh, friendly of products you will probably want to have just some eye protection to make sure that you protect against splashes and you probably don't want to get this stuff on your hands. Now if you have an acrylic sealer it's not going to matter as much. Um, my experience with acrylic sealers has not been quite as positive as what I understand it should be with this sealer I'm trying today. Um, and for the final finishes, um, I never trust grout. It's just around the edges of the shower. I don't, I don't trust everything to stay in place and keep, keep from leaking. So um, I did get some silicone uh, caulks specifically designed for use in the shower and it's supposed to be mold free for 10 years. I don't really believe that, but you know, at least they gave it a try. But um, anyway, I've used this uh, with really good luck in my other bathroom and it's been in there for about five years now and I've been really happy with it. So um, you'll need some kind of caulk, you'll need a caulking gun and you will need to have a little utility knife of some sort to cut the tip off the caulk. And I believe that would be all that you'll need today. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that you guys have been very vigilant about keeping your space clean, your grouted and tiled area clean uh, up to now, and that it is as pristine as it was whenever you first put the grout on. The reason that you want this to be so clean is because whatever you seal onto that grout is going to be there. So if there's any little hairs or little pieces of fuzz or anything like that, little clods of dirt, if they're on there, whenever you seal it, they're going to stay on there. So if you have not kept it quite as clean as maybe it should be, or even if you just want to be certain, now would be the time to go ahead and vacuum it uh, thoroughly, maybe sweep it and then vacuum it, take your pick. Um, but so what I'm gonna do on mine, cause mine is quite clean, um, is I'm going to apply <coughs> This, the sealer with the roller, I'm going to make sure that everything is very well dampened in here. I'm gonna wait about five minutes 
and then I'm going to come back with my very clean white towel and I'm going to mop up any excess and I'm also going to wipe it off of the glass gems. So just so you all know what I'm doing, that is what's going to happen now. Okay, wonderful, our sealer is on. I actually had the vent running in my bathroom while I did this because this sealer it has a pretty strong smell. So um, I don't know, I'm sure y'all noticed uh, I did the floor in two, two sections um, because I re realized it probably wasn't a good idea for me to crawl out onto that wet sealer. Not knowing, I mean, my pants are as clean as they can be, but just to make sure that no little fuzzy blue uh, pieces of lint got stuck in that sealer. So um, <clears throat> it is on there, uh, it needs to set or cure for 24 to 72 hours and because I have been going with being as safe as I can to get this floor as durable as possible, I'm probably going to let it cure for 72 hours before doing that final caulking job around the edges. So I'll see you in a few days. So I'm very excited to be at this point where all that I have left to do is just caulk the edges um, where the shower floor meets the shower walls and then I'm going to be finished. So I'm not going to caulk the edge that meets the glass block wall because, well, honestly, there's, there's no crack there where water might get out. And while I did, uh, my grout is filled up to the bottom edge of the shower walls. I just never trust that joint. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and do the caulk anyway. So, oh, this is a hard one to get apart. Uh, there we go. It has a cap on it, the, the kind that I got does. It was just hard to get off. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the end off of this. And then they always have a seal. And you always want to cut your end at a 45 degree angle so that your caulk comes out at a nice angle and um, gets down into the joint there between the wall. I'm gonna go ahead and penetrate the seal that's down in there. Looks like I need to ugh, clean that off, but I'm not gonna do that right now. And then I am good. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to caulk and I'm going to uh, smooth out that line with my finger and per, oof, this stuff, oof, silicone, oof, it's good stuff, but it does not smell nice. Um, per somebody's uh, suggestion from a previous caulking video, I am actually going to keep a little container of soapy water around in which to clean my finger. It'll help the caulk not stick to my finger so much whenever I'm smoothing it. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, a giant thank you to whoever it was that suggested using soapy water on your finger to smooth out the caulk because that made it where it did not stick to my finger and it made the cleanup so much easier and it made, uh, it actually made smoothing that out a lot easier too, um, just because I didn't have a big blob of caulk that got stuck on my finger. So I'm so excited because that was the end of doing the shower floor. So after um, it has, uh, that final step is cured for about 24 hours and the shower is going to be usable, which is great. And it has a really cool new floor. So um, I hope uh, if you follow me through all these few weeks of doing this floor, I hope that it helped you. I hope maybe you got some ideas for doing some of your own floors. Um, what I did here um, is not strictly applicable to shower floors. You could also use it, um, the, the same information in uh, tiling an, um, any floor really, or a backsplash or wall or whatever. It's just, there's gonna be a little bit of adjustment here and there, but all the steps are the same. You have to rip out the old one. You have to prep the space. You have to lay down your new tile with the correct thin set. You have to grout it with the correct type of grout 
and then you always want to seal it because even if your tile is in a space where it's not going to be getting say regular water wear on it if it's even on a backsplash you're still going to be cleaning it at some point and you don't want that grout to be able to hold stains and grease and just all the junk that flies around in the air so again the um the steps will pretty much be the same so um thank you so much for joining me today if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please go ahead and subscribe you'll find the subscribe button on that side of the screen and please also share with your friends if you like the show thank you very much to everybody who already has subscribed and who has shared i really appreciate your support so have a great week and I will see you again soon.